Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Uganda. Uganda is morning one of its longest serving police officer. Commission of Police Josephine Kakoza has served the force for half a century. Kakoza, who joined police at the tender age of 14 in 1969 and has been heading the police band, died Wednesday of high blood pressure at the age of 64. Crossing over to Rwanda, Rwanda government has dropped its appeal against the acquittal of President Paul Kagame's top critic, Diane Rigara. She was acquitted last year of several charges, including incitement, after spending over a year in jail with her mother, who was facing similar charges. The government appealed against the acquittal, but has now instructed the prosecution to withdraw it. In South East Sudan, South East Sudan human rights activists are protecting the ban by the South Sudan media authority that known to cover the ongoing protests in Khartoum, the northern that Juba split with to form an independent country at the beginning of the decade. Editors who published stories of the riots have refused to apologize. Meanwhile, the protests that started as a demand for keeping bread prices stable have now escalated to demands of regime change against President. President Omar Bashir's government. In Kenya, Kenya Deputy President William Ruto has tactfully defended his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta, against attacks that he has thrown him under the bus. People from Uhuru's own Jubilee Coalition and his own central province, led by MP Kimani Ngujiri, have formed a strangely named movement, the Washazi Movement, meaning the movement of idiots, and are protesting that they see as Uhuru's betrayal of Ruto. Finally, from Tanzania, Tanzania has launched its brand new Airbus A220-3 Zero zero with flights between Dar es Salaam and the northern city of Mwanza. This is the first time this particular Airbus model is deployed in air. Air Tanzania is soon taking delivery of another similar aircraft in readiness to joining the continental aviation competition. And that was the headlining news across the East African region.